Hey guys, my name is Sediac and welcome back to another episode of Puffin Plains where it's starting to get really, really difficult. I don't think I'm going to remain as CEO for much longer. The goals are getting difficult and earning money is becoming even more difficult. We need to reevaluate re some of our current lines change them up they're not making as much cash this one right now looks like it's completely overloaded but i think it's the fact that the plane has not or it's actually the plane is now loading which is reducing the amount of people waiting so give it time boys give it time uh our current goal right now is to have 463 cities connected to our network in operating agreements i have 1.7 million you're thinking oh that's not bad Sonic. that's not bad right now but if i wanted to connect like santa cruz that costs 121,000 big ones um i've then also got to buy the plane Lima is 200,000 and so on and so on and so on. It's getting very, very difficult. I don't know how long I'm going to be remaining the CEO. So if I get fired this episode, guys, just know <laughs> I loved my job. Anyway, guys, welcome back. If you are enjoying the series so far, make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new so you get notified when more episodes do go out so the goal is to do 463 uh, cities connected to our network i can exceed it if i do 473 which is an extra 10 on top of the ones that i've already done so what i've got to do is i've got to look at places that are reasonably cheap to kind of buy into like this one right now roma Thirty-five thousand. take it from sydney up here I don't have the planes. Obviously, a Pico would be perfect here. Now, to order that, it's 66,000 big ones plus the 35. That's become over 100,000. Uh, there you go, just to create that one line. Crazy, right? Now, Townsville, again, should be fairly easy to do. The Pico can't fly that distance. So, we're going to have to go for our next cheapest plane, which is it the Micro? The Micro versus the Veteran. The Micro is cheaper than the Veteran. So we're going to have to order you and fly there. That is another one then. Done. Now, I can buy other places like uh, Hervey Bay. 100,000 big ones to unlock. It's a lot more to unlock them if I haven't already unlocked them, if that makes sense. Does that make sense, boys? So, yeah, it's interesting. It is interesting. Now, uh, I'm trying to see where we could go. How much for you? You're 82,000 big ones. We'll go for a, a micro on there. Bam, done. I need two more to meet my goals. But if I can exceed them, that would be amazing. That really would be amazing. And that's a tourist destination. We'll put a micro on you. Um, these are all crazy destinations right now. I feel like one of these places needs to be a hub at some point. But I'm just seeing where we can kind of go to. Up to there. Can a micro go on it? Oh, no, not add a new stop, boy. Order. Bam. We've met the goal, okay? But is it possible to exceed the goal? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth me pushing to exceed goals. Yes, we do get a lot more money back in return. But no, because if I don't meet the goal, I've just spent all that money for no reason. So let's just hold out for a moment. Let's just see. So... While they do what they've got to do, these are the current lines that I have right now where we could do with extra planes just to kind of have the frequency increased. Now, this route here is very busy. And do I have the ability? I can put another PAX 400 on there just to kind of up the, the rate so they're not disapproving of me so rapidly. It's a very, very important route, that one. Now, Mexico City to New York... You look like you're stressing out, mate. So can we put a PAX 125 on you just to ease that burden slightly? And I think we'll be okay and we'll get away with it. This route here. Oh, I don't know how this one's going to play out. It is a pretty long flight. But we'll see what happens. So what we've got to do is also look at routes that do not make us the most amount of money. And pretty much get rid of them. Cape Town to Lagos. Apparently, this doesn't make us much cash. Um, so, it's worth decommissioning all planes and the route. Because they can fly here in other ways. You know what I mean? Especially when we got one going straight to Johannesburg. So, that's other stuff that we've technically got to look at. 
Now, 10 roots, if it costs me 100,000 big ones for 10 additional roots, it's still a million that I need. Which we could do, but I know it's not going to be a million in total. It's not going to be a million in total right now. Now, I could look at quickly pausing right now. Thunder Bay, how much are you? 35. You're 35. Let me just see if I can get a few more. So we'll do a Pico order. Bam. Right. Um. See, this is really pushing it. New York to Sepai. Illus, is that how you pronounce it? Pico order. Bam. Right. Okay. Okay. We'll do... Atlanta was a good hub airport. To unlock that, it's half a million. There is no way in this world I'm doing that. Um, right, let me look over here. There's a few places like Riyadh could maybe go to. Pico order, bam. Pico order, bam. And how many more do we need now right now? We need six more. Six more. Order BAM. Order BAM. I need four more. This is getting a bit out of hand. Now, what size are you? You're 700,000. You're a million. You're 400,000. So we'll go to you first. And I can't do any more, but there's two more cities I need to exceed my goals, which could be quite possible. Right, there's quite a few Picos we're now currently ordering. We could still technically do it. We still could technically do it and exceed it. But at what cost? I nearly had a million in the bank. Will my reward be two million to pay for that million that I just spent? I very much doubt it. I very much doubt it. Now, to order a Pico, 66,000 big ones. I need 54,000 big ones to set that route up. I just need one more route. Now, you to here sound pretty good. So, I need another 30 odd thousand big ones to order this Pico. Which is 66,000 big ones in total. Bam. And then 90... Oh, 92,000 for the route. I didn't quite think that one through. I didn't think that one through. I could maybe go somewhere else. I might have to go somewhere else. Somewhere a bit cheaper. Now, anywhere over here that makes sense. I think these might be a little bit out of the way. Um, to you, maybe. 73. We've exceeded our quarter's goals. Right. That means I can only get the maximum reward right now, which is amazing. Now, while we wait for that, our other routes then that we've got set up, we're looking at ones that are big losses. Cape Town to Cairo. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that one right now. It also saves us a, a, a PAX 400. If it doesn't make commercial sense, there's no point having it. There is no point having it. And it will only save me money in the long run. So we're trying to get our daily income creeping back up, is what we're trying to do. So any other routes like that? San Paolo to Riyadh? Now I think we can actually get rid of... Now we remove the bulk, we're going to decommission one of the planes and then see how we get on there. We get a lot of money in transfer, though. That's where you can get slightly confused with that. Riyadh to Beijing, uh, Sydney to... Right. Seattle to Chicago. Seattle to Chicago? That's like a major route. But is it down to the fact that we got too many big planes? Yeah, we can probably decommission one of the planes. I probably got too many planes on some of these routes at the same time now as well, which is why we got to be a little bit careful. Now, this quarter is now about to end. I'm really nervous. <laughs> really nervous right now, but we've got... We're on the way to having half a million in the bank. Let's see what this next goal brings. Actually, not too difficult having those airport up. Actually, no, it is difficult. I just realized how expensive airport upgrades are at this point. 
So I could either take the planes, which is five leveling veterans. No, thank you. Uh, I could take the money, 1.4 million. That is the, thing, is the only thing that makes sense at the moment, is the money, which I'll take. Now, there's no other upgrades I can do. There's between these two here, I could increase the boarding time or I can decrease the boarding time. Now, what does this mean? Does decrease boarding time mean it takes longer to board or decreases the boarding time, which means it takes longer to board? No, it means decreasing, doesn't it? So I can increase the income or the comfort. Boarding time, which means passengers get on the plane quicker, which means they'll then fly to the destination quicker. Which means I can do more flights in a 24-hour period. We'll go with you. We'll go with you. Okay. Okay. And we've got to do the upgrades. Now, to exceed that goal, after I've done the 303, which is five more I need to do, I need to do 10 more. I definitely can't afford to do 10 more after that. Definitely can't afford to do 10 more after that. Now, this flight here could maybe do with additional plane. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But let me see where I can do some upgrades. Now, Miami upgrades, we... Oh, it's so expensive, isn't it? It is so expensive. I think... Oh, good God. A focus city, a long runway. I've got to do these ridiculous upgrades right now. Just random upgrades that cost an absolute fortune. That meets the goal. To do 10 more of those, I need 3 million. I can't, I can't exceed that goal. That's just asking for trouble. So I might as well spend this time right now going through some of these routes. Now, you got to look at these ones. Riyadh to uh, Beijing, which is there, does have two planes on. The more routes we build, the less there is a need for having two planes on the original big routes. It means I gain a plane back. LA to New York um, could potentially get rid of the this one here and leave the larger one on because where we did originally need them now we have more routes so they take alternative ways so looking at you london to delhi has two planes on um we can maybe get rid of the one two five keep it as that so, less running costs. This route's looking busy again. We'll add a... We'll do a 125 on that. Oh, no, is it too far? It's too far. The Roebling? The capacity's not big enough, is it? I'll add the Roebling to it. That should be a bit of fun. It should be a bit of fun. It's an extra plane. It's an extra 69 passengers, which is not much. But at least it's consistent and it flies pretty quick. So we have that. We have that to use. You could also look at where the passengers are wanting to go. You can't view it by the line itself, can you? Not really. San Paolo overview. Amount. That's where they're going to. But you can see where they wanted to go to. But the problem is, I can't view the top of the list. So, <laughs> I can't see where the, the bulk of people wanted to go. You know what I mean? They're using it as a connecting flight. So, Washington, Baltimore, Cairo, Mexico. They wanted to go from here up to here. Which means they have to first go down to, to Buenos Aires. To then fly up. Now, I could... Make them fly to Houston, which means everywhere else is at least a connecting flight. That'll be a Roebling or a 400, or I can make also that go to New York. Or I just allow this line here to transport a bunch of passengers over, because it does make a bit of cash. So it's, it's a difficult one, however you want to look at it. I'm just hoping my next goal right now is not to have the... Um, the well-serviced routes. 
And I mean, this line here is a bit chaotic, isn't it? I could also get rid of this and put the pressures on the other lines. If it remains like this. So buy him out, that re-add. It's just one person wants to go everywhere. So it's difficult to kind of upkeep with it, isn't it? Uh, anyway, um, the little graph. We're on a, on, on, a, on an upswing, if that's the best way to put it. We are going somewhere. We are going somewhere. We've uh, met the goal anyway. This next quarter is going to end, which this one's come around a lot quicker. There was less work to do. There was less work to do. <laughs> but I'm scared. Oh, no. Uh, expand your presence in the Andes to serve seven cities or 12. Right, give me cash. And the Andes, I believe, are here. I'm not going to be able to do this. <laughs> oh, no. Right, okay, so. We have to pick a central area. We could either do Lima at 10 million. We could do Bottega. Uh, Bottega? Where am I getting Bot Bottega from? Uh, Bogota. Bogota? How do you pronounce it? I don't know. I don't know if we got it right either way. Um, so we'll unlock Lima, which costs us 200,000. To which we'll fly here on a Pico. We'll fly here on a Pico. We'll fly here on a Pico. Here and a Pico. Because they're just the cheapest planes. That's literally all it is. On a Pico. And that's six. So one more is seven. Which will go to you. Pico order done. Now, we've got to unlock these places. So 100,000, nearly 200,000 there. We'll do the same here. We'll utilize this as a little area. Order you. I feel like I could exceed actually this one's not too bad this goal but granted we are going to need then the ability to kind of connect to other areas so if I take Lima to here first on a 125 if I bring Lima to San Paolo no, Buenos Aires on a 125. And then go to get to Miami. Or Mexico. No, we'll go to Miami because, you know, it's one step closer to New York if needs be on a 125. So those routes there should be set up quite nice. Now, upgrades here. We need to upgrade this airport, San Paolo. For the throughput. We really do. Oh, that plane's loading up. I think that extra little Roebling right now is taking the heat slightly off San Paolo. It is making a difference. Only ever so slightly. Right, last Pico has just been ordered. So I can't believe we exceeded here. I literally cannot believe we exceeded it. So planes are now flying out. I'm not sure how busy this area is going to become. Or how many people are going to want to... Actually, there's quite a lot of people wanting to get on the planes on this route. So, good job we did do the 125s. So, back in business then. Where are we at? So, Houston to Madrid. Hmm. It makes a lot of money in transfers. So, there's that. Sam Powell to Riyadh. It makes a lot of money in transfers. Delhi to Tokyo. The planes do look busy. It makes a bit of money on transfers. But does it need a 400 capacity plane? 
can I put... Yes, yeah, so I'm going to change... I'm going to get rid of that plane, so decommission you. So I've got another 400 in my back pocket. Okay. See how we get on with that. See how we get on with that right now. It is getting real difficult. This area is working well. We'll just save the money at this point. We'll just save the money. So all I'm thinking of right now is, what are these next goals going to be like? They're going to be difficult, aren't they? Right, this line here is looking busy. So I'm going to put a... Another... 400 is going to be way too much because after that plane does one journey we're back down to minimal passengers a 125 would be great but it's a case of ordering one i've got enough money to order one but it can't fly that distance the roebling can but it's only 69 passengers but i suppose 69 passengers at a time will slowly eat into the backlog I think that's the reality of it, isn't it? It would just slowly eat into the backlog. Because that plane is now full. That one's not even full. So it's really eating into the backlog straight away. Lima Airport's going to need some upgrades as well. We can save those airports until they do need... Our next kind of quarter goal is about upgrades. That route there is red. The next goal is going to be well service routes. I just know it. I just know that's what's going to happen. Right, I've got a million in the bank anyway, boys. A million in the bank. Let's just see what happens. Right, bring on the next quarter. Let's just go into play mode now. Bring on the next quarter and let me cry. Just let me cry. You ready for this? Oh, no. Okay, I'm not going to cry just yet. So, <laughs> 15 more operating agreements to exceed or five more to meet. Now, because we exceeded, we get 1.6 million almost. I'll take it. So, could we do this? This is interesting. Putting more pressure on Lima. There we go. Um... Uh, Bam, bam, bam. Right, the veteran can reach that far, but it's quite expensive to, to get a veteran. So let's not go down that route just yet. Um, right, Seattle. Let's try and push you up a little bit right now, because Picos can reach there. Okay, okay. Um, we, we've met the goals, but can we do four more? And... I'm just going where the Pico can reach. That's all I'm doing right now. As long as we stick to Picos, we should be fine. I can do micros if, if like, really needed. I need four more operating agreements set up. Now, that's a little bit further away. I'll go for a micro. How much is a micro? 228. You know, I'll do it just for that one. I need three more. How's Australia? No new places down there. There's a few around here, but I'm going to set some new stuff up. Oh, Tokyo. Hiding a few little places there, aren't you? One more. There we go, boys. We now officially have exceeded those expectations. What's the line there that's run? Oh, hashtag awful fool's air. All publicity is good publicity, boys. Uh, Riyadh to Beijing is getting busy. I could... I don't have any other planes. But 
Wait, what do you mean the uh Oh, I can't afford it. Wait, the packs can't fly that far then? How is it doing it anyway? It's gone orange anyway, so that number should drop down a little bit. Right, we've exceeded, which is great. Money slowly. It looks like we're going to plateau again at some point. Um, okay, new airport's opened. Riyadh to San Paolo. It's crazy how that doesn't make the profit, but it's more the fact that it's not to that destination. It's the transfers where we get in the money. So why does it take into account the transfers? Um, sort by daily passengers transferred. So these are the worst ones. All right. Where's the worst one with the with two planes? That's what I would like to see. How far up do you have to go to find two planes? Two planes? Anyone? Two planes? Oh, there. Where'd it go? Where did it go? I know it's always consistently changing. Oh, no. One of my planes just crashed. Rebuild the route. God damn it. That's made me waste half a million dollars, hasn't it? Damn fools. No other upgrades I can do. But I could change upgrades. I don't really want to reduce... I mean, I could reduce passenger comfort for passenger income. I could... Actually, I could reduce comfort levels and passenger income for an extra 20% in airplane capacity. I know then it kind of... We've already got a plus 10 anyway, so going then minus 10 means we just kind of reset from that one. But the planes get 20% more capacity which i can carry more passengers let's see how that goes so all of a sudden the picos carry 61 oh my goodness me the 400s carry 540 <laughs> oh damn son damn right that means we make more money on them flights because they are able to carry more passengers all right, we have a, a 250 plane right there. We do need to increase our throughput on these. So they don't hate us so much. So I wonder how that's going to change things slightly for us. All right, this route in general... It's a very busy route. It, it is a very busy route, isn't it? Um, right, I'm not going to do anything anyway, because... At the end of the day... I want to see what my next goal is going to be. I don't want to spend any money just yet. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, in Indonesia. Okay. We'll take the extra money because we've exceeded, obviously. Now, these routes here are being put under a lot of stress. They really are. We're gonna, If I've got enough money, we'll try and upgrade them. Um... That one plane, it should wipe it all out. Indonesia, here we go. So Jakarta is what we're, where we'll start. And it's just six cities to 
to extend to to begin with. Alright. Keep it going. Four more to exceed. It's all Picos. I don't know if the Picos are... I mean, they've, they've got decent... Now we've, like, upgraded them. That They do carry 61. They're pretty good capacity. Oh, they can't fly that far. Can I go up here? Or... I'm going to do a... A micro here. Oh, no, it's too expensive. Right, there we go. I've exceeded and spent nearly every single penny I had remaining. Uh, Jakarta, we'll do to Bangkok instead. I need to do... I've only got a 400 to use. We'll have to use a 400. That's all I've got. Without having to spend any more money. There's a lot more towns and cities I could have expanded to as well. <laughs> we need bigger planes to do that. But at least I've exceeded my expectations. Now, this is not looking good. Lima is on its last legs. Upgrade-wise, we could really do with turning to a focus city by reducing landing fees and also upping the throughput by 40 an hour. This is getting worse, so I could... I'm just going to literally replace it with the plane. So decommission the the that one and then we've got the 540 which that should be adequate and completely wipe it all out in a couple of attempts so fasty forwarding let's see what happens disapproval on lima i know guys just don't cancel on me just yet okay don't cancel on me just yet we, we, we we're doing something here i should have kept the other plane on it I need to up the throughput below. I really do need to up it. Right. 398 is what we need. 398. How bad is the relations? I don't want to donate to increase it. Right. That would have helped things out slightly. Now we can put more people through an hour. So planes can be slightly loaded quicker. And hopefully that will ease the burden. We're eating into the backlogs now. But it will take a lot more time. But boy oh boy is this getting slightly crazy. It really, really is. Damn, son. The damn. Now, my daily income has dropped dramatically. How did it drop so quick? What have I done to, to deserve this? What changed? You know what I mean? What changed? Oh, I took the 10% thing off, didn't I? That's what I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. In, in return for more passenger movement. For large capacity planes. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Okay. Fine. It is what it is. Oh, this route here. That was a 540 capacity. Oh my god. Oh my god. Put another one on. Put another one on. Over a thousand people at each airport. Oh, no. Oh, it's only five more agreements, though. We'll take the cash, which sorts us out. But holy smokes, is that ridiculous? All right, Jakarta, I'm so sorry. I'll make you a focus city as well, so you can put more through people through it. 
Oh my god. That is a lot, isn't it? At least now we are loading the planes up. With all these people. 500 at a time. I do need to create other routes, but I'm just wondering if having two of these planes is adequate enough. Is it, as time goes on, slowly eating into the backlog? I don't know. I don't know. Now, operating agreements, I'm going to do Lima to San Paolo on a 400. Nice, nice, nice. And we now just need to start doing this goal as well. So, Miami to Charleston on a Pico. Miami to... We'll do Knoxville. Might as well just tick some of these now off. Miami to Birmingham, Alabama. Chicago to Rapid City. And Chicago to Winnipeg. Now that there meets the goals. I need 10 more to exceed. Which is ridiculous. It really is. Um, how are you doing over here right now? It's still busier than ever. Do I need to... I mean, I, I do have to create other destinations, but... That's putting a lot of pressure on Bangkok, though, isn't it? Uh, to Jakarta, and then going to Tokyo, Kuala Lumpur. I mean, there's also that route as well, isn't it? Jakarta to Kuala Lumpur, and a 125. That will take some pressures off this route. Instantly. That would instantly do it. And I know... I might even get rid of one of these planes now. I know that's going to take a lot of pressure off. But I'll keep them on for now. i got to remember about that route. I really need to remember about that route. So, San Paolo. Doing its magic. Would have taken the pressures off uh, this route. Very good. San Paolo is looking busy. I could make it a secondary hub to increase its throughput route. There we go. Oh, it's all stress, guys. It is literally all stress. Now, we'll pause it. All right. We'll be... We've remained CEO this episode, but I can't promise I'll still be here on the next one. It is getting, as they say in the biz, a little bit tasty. My days are numbered. The only problem is... I don't know the number of how many days I have left. <laughs> Until next time I see you all soon. So, good bye.